Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Cooper here with Josh's Fitness, and I'm going to show you a quick video, make it as quick as possible, on how I prepare my meals. We're not really preparing them, but cooking and storing foods in bulk, and good foods that you can store in bulk that are not only cheap, fast to cook, okay, they don't go bad, and well, hey, quick, fast, easy, cheap, name of the game. What I got right here is some tilapia. Okay, normally, normally I do chicken, it's a lot easier to cook. Okay, it doesn't take as much time, you don't have to unthaw it, but this is some frozen tilapia, and they're fresher when you get them in the bags. If you don't get them in the bags, they're probably not going to be very fresh, and it's going to taste weird. But, I've uh, run some hot water over that, unthawed it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in some tin foil. I'm actually going to bake it while I study, because that's the most efficient way. If I put it on a grill, I'm going to have to babysit it. Alright, and I also got some salmon. Salmon's not the cheapest thing in the world, but I'm really big on trying to get more omega-3s in my diet. Um, brain function, uh, decrease inflammation in your joints, everything. Great stuff. Alright, and here's another food item I got. And I got some brown rice. And this, because I can cook a whole bunch of brown rice, and as soon as it's finished cooling down, I can throw it in my deep freezer and pull it out whenever I need it. Alright, it, it's really easy and it takes away a lot of the painful parts of cooking food every single night, which gets way boring. Um, also, frozen broccoli. Is pro probably my go-to vegetable, um, frozen broccoli and frozen green beans. I might even show you that out in the garage. But these right here are my meals, okay? Uh, and th this is only about two or three days, depending on how many whole food meals I eat. Because I eat, I eat a lot. Of, I have a lot of supplements, and I use a lot of meal replacements. So um, a lot of times, what I do is I only cook two. I only have two whole food meals up throughout the day. Everything else is uh, whole food supplements. But I'm going to show you what I do real quick. So guys, here's my freezer. Yes, I got chocolate chip ice cream. A lot of times I'm, I skip out on my carbs the other the day. So I got to do something to hit them. All right, you got to hit your numbers at the end of the day. But I got frozen broccoli, green beans, uh, more tilapia. What I do with my meals right here is, these are not my cheeseburgers. But I put them and I just freeze them, okay? Because this makes it a lot easier for me just grab stuff and go throughout the week and not have to worry about prepping it every single night. It's all about being the most efficient with your time as you can. Because if, if you're going to school, if you're working a lot of hours, hopefully you are. We all want to work hours. If you get a busy job, look, you don't have time to do this. Uh, if this isn't your main thing, say for example you've hired a personal trainer and your trainer wants you to eat a certain way and it's new to you, hey, here's a good way to do it okay to prep your meals that way prep the food for the meals that way you're not spending all your time cooking and you can enjoy other aspects of your life it's, it's just a little bit more efficient way of going about things but I'm going to show you uh, packaging the, the tilapia real quick I won't spend a lot of time on that all right so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut I'm gonna, I got to cut little holes so I can get my get my fish out I know it, it, it seems pretty easy but I just want to make sure I got this down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my tilapia. Now you want to leave enough on each side, that way you can fold it over. So I'm going to show you that real quick. You want to cover everything, but you want to make sure the shiny side is on the inside and the dull side is on the outside. Uh, you can put whatever seasonings you want. There's a whole lot of things you can use. But right now, I'm kind of crushed for time if you can't tell, so I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. Alright, now you also want to preheat your oven, okay? It depends on the oven you have. I'm going to preheat mine to 375 to 400 degrees. I like to cook these a little faster. It does make them a little more dried out. So if you want something that's probably not as dried out, go with about 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. That's what I recommend. Alright, so I'm done cooking, guys. All my stuff is sitting here. It's cooling off. Now, the reason why you want to make sure it cools down Okay, because there's still moisture escaping and uh, water evaporate, evaporating. And if you put it in the freezer, it's gonna get, it's gonna, the water's gonna freeze and it's gonna mess up the texture. So make sure it uh, dries out a little bit before you freeze it. Cover it once frozen, so it doesn't get even drier. But uh, anyway, that's my tips. Um, concluding this video, these, are, this will last me probably through the weekend if I, I can stretch this stuff out. But this is a really easy way to minimize the amount of time that you're actually going to spend cooking because, you know, who wants to cook every single night? I don't. 
I don't have time for that. I got a lot of busy stuff I gotta do. And I'm sure you guys do too. Anyway, it's Josh Cooper here with Just Choose Fitness. I'm gonna start cranking these videos out again for y'all. Excuse the little excuse the oven wants to talk to me, but anyway, hey, always just choose fitness.